Welcome to Rautas Reviews. Today we're gonna review some Finnish black metal. You know, a promising band, so to speak. What the hell is going on? Fuck, somebody's trying to ruin my review moment. What, what the hell is this? Oh, what is this madness? So, we have Blood Chalice, two magnificent guys, big guys, strong guys, and also the guys of double metal, double meaning, both lifting and the stuff they play. So welcome, we have Pessi and VP, or VP, Vice President, so to speak. So how are you guys? You're playing Turku tonight. What's the deal here? Well, <clears throat> we're gonna do some blasphemy and some heavy ass training. It's good combination. So we're gonna put some pump in your muscles before you go to the show. Yeah, definitely. It's easier to worship Satan when you are pumped with blood. Do you agree? No further questions. I'm st gonna start powerlifting. So, you are quite new band and you just recently put out your debut CD, which we actually reviewed here. It's pretty okay. good. And it combines black and death metal, in my opinion. How would be your own uh, kind of classification or defining define definition be about this album? Well, um, in the roots, it's black metal because it's about Satanism and blasphemy and desecration. But uh, we are kind of huge fans of death metal and grindcore, so we want to mix it up. So you're album refers by the title to self-destruction but you don't actually seem guys who are so much self-destructing but actually kind of self-constructing what is the self-destruction here um it's um uh, about the album cover there's a jesus and those um some kind of satanic features are doing some kind of chant that's, that are making jesus to beheading himself so, you are the Mr. Drummer and also the songwriter, am I correct? Yeah. How does your combination of two uh, original members and other guys work out in your band? Uh, actually, quite easily. Uh, I started to learn playing guitar with drums and uh, and then I started to practicing uh, uh, vocals also, and that helps me a lot of uh, writing songs because then I know what kind of things guitarists have to do and what kind of uh, things vocalists have to do. It helps a lot to, uh, to build a song. So your band basically started as you two guys, am I correct? Yeah. So what brought you together? I guess it was not just powerlifting when you kind of end up doing this kind of extreme black slash death metal. So what is the story here briefly? Uh, I joined the Retaliatory Measures band where Pessi was uh, on vocals. And uh, after a while, we both have this feeling that this is not the thing. And I was thinking it, and Pessi said it out loud that, hey, Wepe, let's go to band rehearsal place and just start playing something. That's some heavy weights we got over here because we are Mr. Masculinity Center of today's <laughs> training. I bet there are no as strong guys as these guys today when we go back to the Club Koran to see some Turku Satanale stuff. So, Pessi, we already, already discussed a little bit of uh, songwriting and drums and all that stuff. But as it was mentioned, your previous bands and all that stuff, now you have uh, ventured towards Satanism and the themes of black metal and all that stuff. So, to put, it, to put the question in a simple way, what does black metal mean to you? Well, um, it's my way of life. What, what does that mean, it's a way of life? Uh, well, I believe in my own. I live my own life. Uh, there's no power, nothing. 
that control. Power, no power, like. Ah, there's no um, higher power. Outer power or higher power that controls me. It's all about my own life. Uh, well, blood chalice is a very self, very selfish thing because it's my personal tool for my own Satanism. How much it matters to you if other guys in the band agree with you about your views of black metal and Satan and all that stuff? Honestly, I don't care because um, m for me, every single gig we are doing, it's my own ritual. So uh, it's kind of your terms or what? Uh, well, I do it with my own terms. Well, other guys are doing with their own terms. Um, I don't care. Are you a democracy as a band or is there a boss? Well, we are the boss. So when it trouble issues, do you have to go all the way to judo or do you measure it by the weights you're lifting or can you do it in a civilized manner like, VP, I think we should do this way or is it a guy like shouting competition like, fuck you, I'm gonna dictate what we do here or how does it play out? It goes like, uh, if I tell something to Pessi that I think this is cool or that is cool, Pessi just say, okay, because Pessi trusts 100% what I'm doing and the other ways. It's like that. We don't, comp we don't fight about from, like, from anything. Um, well, we got also Henry and Tonda in our band, but um, they know the places and they don't have any problem uh, when we are telling them things. So when black metal is more or less seen kind of a dark and even a little bit of self-destructing thing, you guys basically look like the epitome of uh, positivity. How does that fit in your opinion to black metal? I know my views and I know there is no disagreement, but what is your view of this? Uh, well, you can be happy even though you sing about dark themes. Do you think it's actually balancing things out? It definitely, it's in the balance. Because uh, there's a certain level of happiness and d disappear in your life. Your album is pretty much the kind of Hell Breaks Loose. It's less than 30 minutes long, which is quite short for a full-length album. But then again, it's fast tempo, it's really straightforward, it's violent, it's kind of a crazy and heavy and all that stuff. Is this the way you want to keep going, even though it's a little bit monotone? Uh, definitely, because uh, it's just an um, intensive burst of hate. And I don't see why it should be longer, because uh, it's um, some kind of um, intense attack. And it don't need to be an hour, hour long. What kind of bands inspire you when to do these songs? Everybody is listening to music, so everybody is influenced by something. What's your poison? And now you can release all the skeletons from the closet if you have some non-metallic acts in your mind or whatever. What, where these ideas stem from when you write music? I will show you. <laughs> now we'll see some badass tattoo part. So 666. Conqueror, of course. Don't you fear of being getting copycat accusations? You can't copy Conqueror. It's almost impossible. So, let's talk a little bit of ideology, what is uh, so common in black metal. How, how do you uh, differ, differ from other bands with your ideology? Or is there any sort of ideology when it comes to uh, Blood Chalice? We all four are completely different persons and we have our own opinion and we try to keep La Chalice out from politics. So, there were recently this stuff, as you probably have heard of, you know, Target getting the US tour cancelled because of these anti-fast Nazi, Nazi allegations and all that stuff. And there were like King Dude, you know, backing out from the tour earlier because of this stuff, kind of didn't want to get mixed, all that stuff. So, in my opinion, which I recently made this opinion video, I think this is kind of a possibility uh, for black metal in the sense of let's make black metal dangerous again and uh, remove this kind of a safe space haven from black metal, which should be kind of a dangerous in the first place. What is your view of this kind of a case? Is it good or bad that Target got cancelled? Uh, some kind, I think it's good because uh, it's making black metal dangerous again. Uh, we get back to the 90s when black metal were dangerous. But um, to be honest, 
uh, I see it very bad that people are going Antifa's way because they, they are making false accuses. They are not checking any background or sometimes they just check the background, not the current state. Um, and they are ruling the world right now. People are afraid of them. People don't remember that black metal, for example, is um, not politically incorrect. Uh, well, right now it's uh, wrong to talk anything shit about Islam, but we are currently and we have made uh, desecration of Christianity. And now it's okay. People don't care if uh, you are saying that fuck off Jesus Christ or something else. But if you say fuck off Allah, everybody lose their mind. So um, do, you, do you think it's more related to culture and racial things rather than religion? Um, I don't know. I don't know because um, I think Antifa don't know it. They don't know. They just want to uh, be politically correct. It's all about being PC. Yet at the thing, if we look into history, and I'm not you know, take, gonna take sides here, but if we take a look into history and read religions, Islam is actually, um, in the past at least, kind of a more easygoing when it's about you know, um, homosexuality and women's rights than Christianity. But yeah. still nowadays, Christianity is kind of seen the soft puppet here and you know, Islam is the badass. Should people actually read history and figure things out and you know, just put the middle finger in every religion or what is the deal here? How should we proceed? Uh, I think everyone should take a look to the history because um, Islam is uh, right now going in the same uh, some kind of session that Christianity used to have. Um, Islam is, uh, if I remember correct, something like 500 years younger than Christianity. And if we go back 500 years from from this day with Christianity, the same thing was going on with uh, Christ people. I think if you need religion to tell you what's right or wrong, then you are a bad pe bad person. And you should be carpet bombed. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. All right, guys, so we're soon gonna wrap this up. What lies ahead in Blood Chalice for the coming years? Do you have a new material going on and uh, or new gigs or what lies in the near future? Uh, we have uh, one gig in Pori at um, April and then on May we have a little tool, tour with a USA band called One Master. We are going to Berlin, uh, Poland, Lithuania and Latvia. Any final words regarding attitude and lifting? Go to hell. So the final word is go to hell, do some lifting, have a healthy lifestyle or don't. We don't really care. These guys do. And now we're going to do some heavy lifting. We could uh, see some weeping, moaning, or at least uh, lifts going bang and boom. So let's see these lifts. And this is Rauta out. Turku Satanalle 6 awaits more hell. <laughs> <laughs>